for a fresh word, and today's fresh word is spooky. We're talking about the things that scare us as we celebrate our spooky Sunday, also known as Halloween. So I was wondering, does anything scare you? And if so, what? I get scared of the dark, and I guess when it's dark, I get scared of monsters. Teenagers. Ah! A monster. Ghosts. I run spiders. I'm scared of like blobs of walking. There's a lot of things to be scared of in this world. Spiders are definitely spooky and scary. What do you do when you're scared? I hug on to my tadas. And whenever I hug on to them, they give me love. Hug. Uh, scream. I like to run away. What helps me not get scared is when I'm with this, our brand new Sophie that's magical that we just got today. And she is, her name is Rainy. And she, whenever I hold on to her, she gives me her love. Like things that eat spiders. Getting a hug. When I'm scared, I like to go to my mom too. But you know what else I do when I'm scared? I think about being brave, like super girl or super woman. And I think about how God gives me the strength to be brave. I think about the fact that when I'm scared, I can go to God. I can pray and calm myself, talk myself down from the scary things that are out there. So then I realize that God gives me peace, God gives me strength, God gives me courage to face the scary things. God also gives me people like my mama and yours and all of our church members that remind us that we're not alone. The greatest gift that God gave us was the gift of Jesus to remind us of Emmanuel, that God is always with us, especially when we're scared. And so I hope that as we celebrate this spooky day, you'll remember that even though things scare us, God is with us. God offers us comfort. God's arms are like a big embrace from a parent who really wants to take care of us and loves us like your mamas or your daddies, your uncles, your grandparents, or maybe even some of the wonderful people in our church. God offers us strength. God challenges us to face our fears sometimes and is right there to comfort us when they scare us a little bit too much. So I hope that you will take this day and celebrate it and all of its spookiness, but know that really, when the scary things happen in our world, and yes, there are some very scary things to be afraid of. God is with us, and God acts in us and around us in so many of the people that we know and love. So, I can't wait for Trunk or Treat. Be sure to stay after both services so that you can get some candy and all the grown-ups can see your costumes and wish you a very happy Halloween. Yes, keep it spooky. Keep it spooky. Come on, girls and boys, it's time to go to Sunday school. Come on, vampires and and skeleton, I mean werewolves, let's go to Sunday school. Keep it spooky. Let's go to Sunday school. Oh. Come on, girls and boys, time for Sunday school. Happy Halloween, boys and girls. Hi, I'm Becca Alski. Do you ever pray to make yourself feel better? Nope. <laughs>